Hi everyone, welcome to Adult DIY. Uh, this month we will be making um, a beaded bracelet. So it's pretty self-explanatory, um, I think, but we're gonna, I'm gonna take you through it. Um, so what you'll need in your kit, um, you have some beads, um, a clip, and some elastic. Um, the elastic, you should have enough, just measure your wrist and then you can cut off any excess. Obviously you're gonna have to keep it's gonna have to be a little bit bigger um, than your wrist so you have enough room to tie a knot. Um, first step, you clip the clip on one end and this is going to uh, stop the beads from falling off the other end while you're beading it. So um, you should have assorted colored beads. Um, I have some green and um, I think some black ones and you can decide which pattern you're going to use. You may not have to use all the beads. You may use all the beads um, depending on how big you want the bracelet to be. So I'm just going to start stringing the beads on to my bracelet, to my elastic. Let's see, okay. Got a purple one. I'm just going in whichever order um, because I don't know I just like sometimes I like just ran I like all these colors together so I don't mind which order it's in um, but you can you know set up your own pattern um, whatever you like really okay This is a little boring. I didn't prep one in advance, so bear with me. Okay, so you can check as you go. Make sure that the beads are on how you like. This program you can also attend in person um, if you prefer to do that. So. Um, you have the option to watch the video, just read the instructions, um, or show up in person. I like to offer flexibility. All right. Okay, so basically when it's your the length that you want it, um, you are going to unclip, carefully unclip the clip from the elastic. So you want to hold on to it just so the beads don't slip. And then what we're going to do is something called a surgeon's knot. So basically you're going to twist it around twice so it looks like that. So there are two little twists. Then you're gonna pull it tight. Then you're gonna bring it around again, and I'm gonna use my little notes. Um, I'm gonna fold this one in. And when I say this one, I mean the, the one on the right side. Um, that's what makes sense to me. So the right side, you're just gonna fold that down. And then the back one is going to come up and through the other side like that and then you just you're gonna tie that knot so I'm gonna do that one more time so I'm folding the right side down like this and then you bring the left one up and around and through the hole there <laughs> okay let's see all right, so it should look something like this. Oh my goodness, that was wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so then fold this one, bring this one up and around, and then you tie it like that. There you go. Um, there is a picture on your instructions 
um, to follow. So you first uh, do this and then you do the second part. You can also look up on YouTube how to tie the surgeon's knot if my tutorial wasn't the best. Um, so there you go, there's your bracelet. Uh, what you would do then is just cut off the excess um, elastic and then you just wear it. There you go, mine's a little small, but there you go. Um, thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this craft and uh, we'll see you next time at the end of May. We'll, we will be making flower wreaths or a crown. So you could use it either way. You can wear it on your head or hang it up as a wreath on your door or wall. Um, but thank you so much for joining me as always and I hope you enjoy the craft. Please um, send a picture of your finished product to askref at elmwoodparklibrary.org. We love to see the finished product and we will see you next time. Bye.